When it comes to cash reporting, two message types stand out. MT940 and MT950. Both are part of the Swift Fin category used by banks for financial messaging but serve different purposes in statement reporting. MT940 is a structured end-of-day statement sent by the bank to the account holder. It provides detailed information about individual transactions processed during the day. Think of it as a bank statement that breaks down credits, debits, references, and balance. On the other hand, MT950 is a simpler end-of-day balance report. It only shows opening balance, closing balance, and total debits and credits without line-by-line -line transaction breakdowns. Now let's explore six key differences and little-known facts about MT940 versus MT950. MT940 includes unique transaction references like 61 and 86 tags, which are crucial for ERP integration. MT950 lacks these detailed tags, making it less suitable for automated reconciliation. MT940 can be used to trigger alerts in corporate treasury systems when specific transaction patterns appear. MT950 cannot, as it lacks detailed entries. MT950 is often used by correspondent banks for balance confirmation, while MT940 is favored by corporate clients who need transaction-level transparency. MT940 allows multiple currency balances in a single message through specific tags, whereas MT950 is typically confined to one currency per message. Some banks embed custom codes in MT940's minus 86, tag to categorize transactions for industry-specific reconciliation, a flexibility not possible in MT950. While both are end-of-day messages, MT940 supports intraday simulations by being generated multiple times a day in real-time treasury environments, which many users don't utilize. Both messages follow Swift formatting rules and are transmitted over the Swift NetFin network. Financial institutions and corporates use platforms like Swift Alliance Access or Service Bureaus to handle these messages. To explore samples of these message types, visit the official Swift Standards Repository at https://www.swift.com/standards.